So I'm playing Robotron right now, which shouldn't surprise people because I love Robotron. I play Robotron every day, and I don't play Robotron very much on this channel. But when I do play it, or when I have played it in the past, it has looked a lot different. There's a reason for that. The reason is I got my stuff upgraded. Yay, Boomer Dad! But uh, the play isn't any different. <laughs> so four years ago, about four years ago, I had done my research and I went out to get my main stuff. I wanted a basically a turnkey system and landed on ROM Collector. They had a all-in-one ultra drive. They had like sort of everything in it, emulators, all of that. Purchased it, very, very happy with it. So I wanted to do an update. My buddy Nick there, uh, said, yep, hey, we can go ahead and, and update that, no problem, uh, and there's an upgrade price, and that's fine, you know, no, no problem, send the, send the drive in, and, and we'll go ahead and do that for you. I was like, yeah, but I, I need the drive for my channel. He said, well, look, you know, why don't, why don't we just do this? If you're using the drive for the channel, then why don't you go through the drive, and you can give us a little plug, and they were kind enough to, to send me a fresh, clean uh, version of their MAME arcade drive, Fully updated, fully current, and I've got a little bit of work to do too because I've got to I've got to uh, go in and, and start changing around some of the settings and all that stuff because I have to everything sort of reset. So I've got to go in and and backtrack on on uh, some stuff, which is fine. It's 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 pretty easy once you get going with it. I never really got into the actual intricacies of the emulators and all that and trying to set up hyperspin wheels or separate hyperspin wheels because I just sort of jumped in and then I kind of started the channel soon after and now that I got a fresh drive and I've got to go in and and do some redo some settings and all that it's a, it's a perfect opportunity your own wheels and then wheels within wheels and modify wheels and all of that so that's that's cool that's cool and I had never really thought about doing that until the channel game list has sort of exceeded my personal game list. So I want to split those lists out and I wasn't really sure how to do it. And like I said, the, the all encompassing uh, hard drive that I had gotten from them originally, which was, I mean, it's 10, 10 terabytes. And I think, the, I think the same drive that they have now is like 12 terabytes. And so it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, which is great if you love all of it. But I wanted to really focus in on the classic arcades, because that's what I do. Just having a hyperspin wheel without all of the other emulators on it is going to be interesting. So these are the emulators, and then the arcade systems. Looks like things are revamped, things have been retooled a little bit. I'm really excited to go in and see what this looks like. One thing that I know is available is uh, the grid takes quarters. And I, and I know it doesn't have sound, which kind of sucks, but I'm wondering if I could actually play it. Let's go take a look at and, and see what this hyperspin wheel looks like. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> Hyper HQ, I don't think it, it, like I said, I don't think it's anything new, but I never really looked at it before because I never really got into any of the minutia, any of the, some of the setup stuff. But I do know that when I first opened it up, uh, the hyperspin was not doing the overlays. But I call them overlays, they call them bezels. So hyperspin wasn't doing the bezels. And instead of bugging Nick at, at, at ROM Collector, I was, I was like, oh, okay, I can go and figure this out. So I opened up Hyper HQ and I, and I figured out where it was. I'm not gonna go find it now because it took a while to get there. What I love about this is that when you, when you, when you look down at the bottom here, they tell you what each of the tabs is is referring to. A lot of customized controls and a lot of a lot of help. I'm actually looking forward to this because I really do want to set up my own wheel for, for my personal stuff so that I don't have to scroll through a whole bunch of I mean I'm almost having to go to the alphabet jump. I'll show you how that works. The alphabet jump on my uh, on my favorites wheel, and that's that's kind of nuts, especially since I pretty much only really pretty much only play one game. We've got the wheel settings and it looks like the style, you can choose um, vertical or pin or horizontal. So that's kind of cool. A lot of options here in, in, in Hyper HQ. And now I'm gonna dive in and, and once I dive in and play around with it a little bit, I might do something just on that uh, for anybody that's interested. So the Hyper Spin Wheel defaults to MAME. I can already see a, a difference that the, the graphics down at the bottom are, are a little bit different. It, it feels a little bit crisper. Plug it in, change the drive letter, and do a couple of uh, quick things. So a readme that used to be multiple pages and multiple steps, it's it's much more user-friendly than than it was was before. So, so kudos uh, to the guys at Rhyme Collector for getting that 
that part of, of, of their product, their, their package, uh, so much more user friendly. So we've got, so we've got MAME. And this is all scrolling on the on the left now. Mame four. Now there were some other mames that that I think were there was like homebrew mame, and I I don't know if they still have that. It might be under the H's. Mame kids, I remember. Um, so then we have the classics, Atari, and I've gone through these wheels before, and I will probably do another video and uh, and take a look and see if there's any differences. But we can see that there's all the all the big names are on here. But what I love about this wheel, here it is. Like there's the there's just the arcade. Look at that. Look at it go. There it is. It's just the arcade, and it's so nice. You just want a, just a killer just turnkey system and the best customer support you you could ask for. Really, didn't charge me twice to come into my system. To, 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 to troubleshoot stuff that was on me. That kind of customer service now is just not something that you see a lot. So that's why, that's why I really, really love the product that these guys put out. Where's the, where's the play choice? Where's the play choice 10? Maybe there is no play choice 10 or is, is the play choice 10 version just buried deep within the, shall we check one out? Let's check one out. Let us check one out. And here we are in the Konomi wheel. Konomi Classics wheel. So, all of the hyperspin wheels, you're up and down. It goes up and down, and it is all alphabetical. And if you want to skip, oh, look at that. We just landed on Scramble. Not play choice 10, Scramble, though. And if you want to skip, uh, if you want to skip letters, and then you can just you can just hit, I think, is it enter? Yeah, to get back there. And then you start with the Gs. And then it's, again, it's... Now I wonder I wonder if they did the same thing cuz the one thing that drives me crazy about this was that everything that every title that started with the had, was, was in the T's the Simpsons the yeah the and <laughs> in the T's Vonnegut said it never let authors index their own books <laughs> and now let's take a look at this this main wheel I love this selection here So the first thing I do, and we, we know that I did this, is, is I go and I check and make sure the Robotron's there and it's blue label and, and all that. Yeah, look at that. Play choice. There it is. Play choice 10. Ruining Rad Racer. I've really got nothing against Play Choice 10, except for the fact that I haven't played a single Play Choice 10 version of a game that didn't just absolutely chew the, the, the just that junk from between my toes. I'm gonna to wanna to change the settings for Pac-Man. I have a center joystick that I, I like to I like to use. It doesn't matter why I did. I'm gonna change the settings. So here we go. We're gonna change the settings <laughs> on this. So uh, it's tab and then we, we go down. Right now up down is the, is the default up, down, left, right. But what I wanna do is I wanna do my middle controller. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to hit enter here. And so now up, I want to be my middle controller, which is O. And then down, I am going to have that be my middle controller, which is M. And then we're gonna go, and then left is the next one. So left is going to be J. These letters look familiar, but I don't have them memorized. And then our right is going to be L. And that's good. So we're going to return to our previous menu. And then we're going to return to our previous menu. And we're going to close the menu. And now we're going to add a quarter. And we're adding a quarter. And now we're going to start and see if, not using this hand, using this hand, if we can control our Pac-Man. And the answer is yes. What do you mean you only have three lives, Boomer Dad? That's not, that's not any good. No, it isn't, especially since we play like this. You can actually pause the game. I think pause is seven. All of it is keyboard. It's just a great big, huge keyboard that looks like a game controller. So we're going to add, we are going to add five lives and that's as much. So now I can go up, I can, no bonus life or a bonus life every 10,000. And these are all dip switches. Now, <clears throat> if you notice the graphic down here, the switches, 
as I change things, these switches change, right? And what they would call it is it was dip switches. And there would be switches in the back. They used to have hard drives that had this. Little configurations to make master and slaves. I just went out. And actually, let me switch this over. So, and let's come back. Sometimes it doesn't do it. I've done that before where I go in and I, I think I'm going to cheat. And then, and then it won't let you add the lives. Most of the time it does take, but sometimes it doesn't give you any, any options. So, yeah, see, so now we have five lives. And that's why Boomer Dad starts every game like the little crying girl that he is. All right. And that's how most episodes end just feels tighter it's just everything's snappier uh on this whole on this whole system it, it i love it i really love it it's just fun to just go in and just see all of these all of these games i was sitting on my dad's lap playing computer games on an apple 2c if you had told me that i was gonna have something like this when i was in my 20s i would have said there's just no way i mean this is just really 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 insanely cool to have all of these games at your fingertips for a couple hundred dollars. And you don't have to do the whole big, huge thing. An Xbox controller, you know, you, you, know, you can play, what, 75% of these games right out of the box. It's really a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just their arcade, main hard drive, grab it, plug it in. If you ever had any part of your childhood or your kid's childhood that that you spent any time with friends or family members in a, in an arcade and it was it was something that meant something to you it's it's really it's really cool and and it and it feels like the games is so thanks again to to Nick at romcollector.com for setting me up with the latest Mame arcade hard drive can't wait to dive into the 64 bit version of Mame see what's different there and can't wait to dive into more customizing uh, a hyperspin. Like I said, everything just feels so so much crisper with this update uh, for me. Romcollector.com is a great place to to get started with uh, with everything up to turnkey systems. They even offer offer the whole shebang. Here it is. Plug it in and go. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.